My name is Joana Saira and it's with pleasure that I'm back to talk a little bit about a subject that I'm very fond of. I call it personal perspective. As a dancer, as a creator, an agent of creativity, may that be in dance, in music, in writing, in painting, in cooking, in whatever expression you find your creativity is better used, there is a um, the need for guts, guts to assume a point of view. I have received many comments uh, in my work throughout my career about the guts that I have on assuming my perspective, my points of view. These comments are not always positive. Some people get really bothered because I have my own perspective, I have my own point of view. So they tell me, well, yeah, you do it that way, you listen to the music that way, you teach it that way, because that's your perspective, you know? It doesn't mean it's true, it's your perspective. Well, first of all, every creativity is in a way universal and personal. That's the first thing. Um, the second thing, whatever I do comes from my perspective, my point of view, obviously, cannot come from another person's point of view. So. I have a landscape, whatever that may be, let's say music, and I choose a point of view. I choose a perspective over that music. Let's say how I will use it, how I am listening to it, which movements I will apply, what story is there, how I will relate to that music in that particular day. Maybe my point of view changes, and it usually does. Maybe I will approach a music in one way today, the same music, will feel completely different tomorrow because I'm different. The day is different, the light is different, my mood is different, the world is different. Everything is changing and dance is a life. Dance is a life, dance is part of life and life is constantly transforming and opening up. We are not the same. Nobody is the same all the time. We change, we move, we transform. So art and Egyptian dance in particular, because that's our subject, um, follows this transformation, it means that different points of view, different perspectives will come up depending on the time when I'm working. The point about uh, the criticism and how so many people feel bothered by the fact that I have a perspective, that I have a point of view, is that they don't have the guts to assume their own point of view. And this is something I've observed in dancers all over the world. When you ask them, what is your perspective? How do you listen to this, this music? How do you react to this music? How do you feel about this particular part? How would you do it? How do you think this instrument, this moment, this solo, this part of the music should be interpreted? How do you think? How do you feel? This scares the hell out of a lot of people because suddenly they have to assume responsibility for their point of view and that takes guts. One point of view does not exclude the others. It just means you choose at a certain moment to take a certain material, which can be music or anything else, from a certain point, from a certain perspective. I have the same landscape, yes, here, in front of me, one landscape. I can see it from this angle, I can see it from this, I can see it from that. There is no correct. Of course there is data, there is information. That's why we study dance, that's why we read books, that's why I went to Egypt to work and live, because I wanted to know in depth more than what the books could give me. I wanted to learn. There's a lot, a lot that we can learn from the outside, from the exterior, but in the end, Creativity is about your personal view, your point of view. And not having the fear to assume the responsibility for your point of view is, in a great part, in a, at a great extent, what makes you an artist. Of course, the guts to say, this is how I see the subject. It's not better, not worse, it's my way. It will be different tomorrow, inshallah, yani, God willing to be different tomorrow because I will still be here. And I will create in a different way, I will react in a different way, I will see the same music, the same subject from a different perspective. 
but it's my perspective. It's not my teacher's perspective. It's not the dancer that I like, that I like perspective. No, I'm not following or copying others. I'm not a copy machine. I'm an original agent of creativity. That means I will take the risk to assume my point of view. This is how I feel the music right now. I'm listening to the birds right now. I can choose to move like this. I can choose to move like that. I can choose to go like this. I can choose to do nothing. But when I choose, when I make a decision, it's my perspective and I cannot be afraid of taking responsibility for it, assuming it. It's a reflection of who I am right now. It's a reflection of how much, how further I can see right now. And that's amazing. So don't be afraid as a student or as a professional dancer to trust your instinct. Learn as much as you can, always. Learning never stops. But at the same time, trusting your instinct. And yes, having a personal point of view. It doesn't make you arrogant. It makes you who you are. It makes your art personal, unique, original, alive, gutsy, daring. Why not? I think it's better than a copy machine. But I'll leave that to your perspective. So you make the decision.